Good morning. So, I'm off for my run. We didn't end up going at, can you guys even hear me? I feel like I'm whispering. We didn't end up going at 6 because when I woke up and I looked at my text messages, my trainer told me that he had to work at 10.30, so to forget it. So, I'm still going to go, but I got to sleep a little bit more, which was good because I didn't end up going to sleep till like... 12.30, 1 o'clock. So, it's not too sunny out. Thank you, Jesus. So I don't think I'll die of heat exhaustion. And hopefully I'll be able to finish. So I will touch back with you guys in a little bit. Just finished my run, and I am dead. Hey guys, so I'm about to get ready for work, and I wanted to mention that I found another new lipstick. This is from NARS. Am I showing it to you the right way? from NARS and it's their pure matte lipstick and the color is Amsterdam another great fall color and if I show it to you over here there we go it's so nice and I also found let me put this away it's an Illamasqua palette and it's called the paranormal palette and these are the colors that are in it. Let me move it. There we go. A nice reddish color, a green, a purple, and an orange. So that's awesome. And now I'm going to get ready for work. And I will start recording when I use the lipstick. I'm going to be using Bite. The one I showed you guys yesterday. The nice, like, hot pinky one. The lighting is poo-poo. So, so the lipstick is done. It's really nice. It went on super smooth. Um, the only thing I'm concerned about is I think it might bleed because it's so creamy. And they're stated on the packaging to be a matte lipstick, but it's not matte. You can see it has shine, but it's a matte cream. So I'm not really sure. But anyway, so yeah, basically everything's done. I just have to add mascara and then I'll show you guys, uh, I'll tell you guys more specifically what I used on my face. So that's it, makeup's done. So basically, on my, hmm, the lighting problem of life. My eyes, I have, what do I have on my eyes? Naked palette, but what did I use? I look sweaty, it's weird. I used half-baked in the inner corner part like this part of the lid, and then on the rest of it I used smog, and then I just used a clean blending brush to blend the edges, and on my brow bone I used Naked. For my blush, I have Stila Convertible Lip Pencil in Gerberia, and then for my highlight, I have that Tarina Tarantino uh, highlighting wand thingy, and then the Bite Lipstick. I really like it. I'm just afraid it's going to bleed and my hair is just uh, naturally wet because I washed it and I used a shampoo treatment on my hair and I don't like to use products when I do that. So yeah, so this is the makeup. I'll try to take a good picture with my phone and post it on Instagram so you guys can get a better idea of what the lipstick looks like. Okay? Instagram link is down below by the way. Always down below. At the mall. Going to work. Walking through Macy's. Ooh, boots. Nice. My grandmother loved the lipstick, by the way. If you follow me on Instagram, I have a picture of her with thumbs up. She really liked it. So we'll see how it wears, and I'll let you guys know. But anyway, getting to Sephora, so I'll talk to y'all later. Home from work. I'm home from work. I'm home from work, I'm home from work, I'm home from work. They cut my shift today. I was supposed to get out at 7 and, or no, I was supposed to get out at 9 and I got out at 7. So, now I'm home. I stopped at the supermarket and got us some orange juice and some Mexican Coke. I'm excited. BTW, this lipstick has not been retouched. I put it on at like 1 hasn't really bled at all and it's still there like almost perfectly I'm looking in the mirror right now maybe just a little bit around here because I did drink from a cup 
But besides that, it's still perfect. And it's almost 8 o'clock, so that's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 hours lipstick on my lips and I haven't had to retouch so bite cosmetics matte cream lipstick that's an A plus for me well, I used to be obsessed with doing my nails and if you notice whenever I show you guys my rings my nails are never done because I just have not found the time to do my nails I decided the colors well this is my base coat and it's the yellow stopper, can you see that there? Yeah, yellow stopper. The brand is, uh, it doesn't say. And then for my actual nail polish color, I'm gonna be using this one. It's kind of a darker color. I like it. It's all weird, like, do your nail polishes get like that when you don't wear them after time? I don't know, like, it's like weird. Do you see that? It's like weird. Yeah, so, but anyway, I'm going to use this color. It's from Julep, and it's called Donna. So we're going to be using that. And the reason I picked this color is because I wanted to use this glitter, which is new. Um, well, it's not new, like a new color. It's new in the fact that I got it for gratis, and I haven't used it yet. And it's called Carly, and it's from the Bombshell, uh, like, collection, I guess. So I'm going to be pairing these two together, and I thought that they'd look pretty cool together. And I'm just going to use the glitter as an accent because that's what I do. I use accent nails. I don't put glitter on all fingers. And then for my top coat, I'm going to be using the Julep Freedom Polymer Polymer Top Coat. And I've used this before. It made my nails peel, so I'm going to try it again and see how I like it. But yeah, I'll show you guys my nails after I'm done. Nails are done. I pretty much am in love. There, you could see it more. If, I, if you're in the dark, they look like really, really dark. But in the light, you can see the teal and the glitter is so nice. It's kind of went a little thick there, as you can see, but it's okay. I shall deal, but it is amazing. I love it. Good night.